9-11 because we knew that what George Bush intended was permanent war and that's what we're seeing today even through the Obama administration and I wish to add to that slogan no ban no war no sanctions no sanctions against any country no war no war what has been missing in some of the discussion across the country in these rallies, which are powerful rallies, is why there are so many refugees fleeing from their countries. Because people, people love their homelands. But the U.S. bombing and sanctions, blockade, punishment for being independent or for being or having self-determination, that's why people are forced to leave their lands. Whether it's Central America, the Honduran people suffered the overthrow of their democratically elected government in 2009. And what we see now is thousands of people getting killed by death squads thanks to U.S. military involvement. We could talk about dozens of countries, but I say no sanctions on Iran, no sanctions on Syria. or Venezuela. No sanctions on Libya. And to my Yemeni brothers and sisters, we oppose, we oppose the U.S. and Saudi bombing of your country. In Mexico, I'm the daughter of a proud Mexican immigrant mother. And I say, that there is not going to be any dollars or pesos spent by Mexico for any part of that wall. And you keep pushing Mexico and you're going to do something you'll regret because the Mexican people are proud of their country. Sisters and brothers, we have shown our power. And there's much more potential of our power in this country. Remember May Day 2006, when millions of Mexicans and Central Americans shut down this country for a day. The packing houses, the meat packing industry, hotels, restaurants were shut down. And we have the power to shut down this country. Yeah. The grocery store owners, the workers, the workers, all of us, the students have the power to shut down your schools. And it will happen. I predict. It's, it's the refugee community. It's the immigrant community. It's all the people, black, white, Latino, Asian, Native, Arab, all the nationalities, we are all equal. And I say this, that we are facing a very dangerous, extremely right-wing government. They have nothing for us. They have a secretary of labor who doesn't even want a minimum wage. That's how we became a billionaire. They have... They want a secretary of education who hates public schools. They have a secretary of defense, Mad Dog Mattis, who has a vitriolic hatred of Muslim people. And he has been warning as long as well as Trump aggression against Iran. I have to say this. Whatever your view is, if you are Iranian, about your government, there can be no U.S. involvement against Iran. It is very I was in Iraq. I was in Iraq three times in 1997, 1998, and 2001, after the U.S. had bombed and killed a quarter of a million Iraqis in 43 days in 1991 and proceeded to carry out a total blockade of Iraq. No food, no medicine, no water pipe to repair all the water supply that had been destroyed. It was a genocidal war and sanctions against Iraq. 
and a million and a half people died. And I saw many of those people dying in the hospitals because Iraq was independent. And now the U.S. wants to go after Iran. They're trying to destroy Syria. They destroyed Libya. We cannot fall for U.S. lies, sisters and brothers. We have to say, for a world of peace, we have to shut down the Pentagon. The United States, the United States has spent $45 trillion of our tax money, of the wealth that we create as a society to destroy other people. It's time for us to say, money for jobs, not for war. 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 Money for health care, not for war. Money for health care, not for war. Right back there to my left, uh, a little ways down, is a beige tent, and the Answer Coalition is there. We have an office on Mission Street. You're welcome any day of the week. We are in solidarity with everyone here, and I thank the organizers for excellent work in organizing. And, and there are people gathering names on, on uh, sign-up sheets in the crowd. Please do sign up. We have to keep our power, sisters and brothers. We thank those judges from Seattle to elsewhere. There will be a hearing. Let, let's be ready. Follow up with the organizers and with answer, but there will be rallies continually this coming week and this month. We have to show our strength and warn this government, you will not carry out your wicked nightmare dreams. The other is one chant, the one about the people united, if you're united, you're not divided. I prefer to say, the people united will never be defeated. We will win. The people united will never be defeated. 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 Thank you. offered us their space for sign making sessions and have been such a big help for organizing this event.